Welcome back to Med School Radio. We are looking at first day 2020. This time, page 97, we're looking at lymphatic drainage associations. We're looking at the image. I'm just going to go ahead and read what it says here. First, looking at the picture, we can see the right lymphatic duct drains the right side of the body above the diaphragm into the junction of the right subclavian and internal jugular vein. Next, the larger area, the thoracic duct, drains below the diaphragm and left thorax and upper limb into the junction of the left subclavian and internal jugular veins. And a rupture of the thoracic duct can lead to chylothorax. Okay, next we're going to be looking at the image and we're going to Look at the lymph node cluster, the area of the body drained, and the associated pathology. First, the cervical or subclavicular lymph nodes clusters. So the area of the body drained is the head and neck, associated pathology, upper respiratory tract infection, infectious mononucleosis, and Kawasaki disease. Next, mediastinal. The area of the body drained is the trachea and the esophagus. And sharing the same associated pathology are the hilar nodes, and this drains the lungs. So the mediastinal and hilar lymph nodes both share the same associated pathology. So this is pulmonary TB, sarcoidosis, which is bilateral, primary lung cancer, and granulomatous disease. Now remember that the lymph node cluster for the hilar area in the area of the body drained is the lungs. Next is the axillary area. Area of the body drained is the upper limb, breast, skin above the umbilicus. And the associated pathology here is mastitis. And the mastitis, which is especially breast cancer. Next, the celiac node, right in the middle of the body. This is draining the liver, the stomach, the spleen, the pancreas, and the upper duodenum. And the, uh, I'll talk about the associated pathology after, because Some other lymph node clusters share the same pathology. Next is the superior mesenteric, which is just below the celiac lymph node. And this drains the lower duodenum, jejunum, ileum, and the colon to splenic flexure. Next below that is the inferior mesenteric. And this drains the colon from the splenic flexure to the upper rectum. So the celiac, superior mesenteric, and inferior mesenteric, their associated pathology is the mesenteric lymphadenitis, typhoid fever, ulcerative colitis, and celiac disease. Next, the lymph node cluster is the external iliac. And... um, This is draining the cervix, the superior bladder, and the body of the uterus. Next is the internal iliac. This drains the lower rectum to the anal canal above the pectinate line, the bladder, the vagina, uh, the middle third of the vagina, and the cervix and the prostate. That's the internal iliac. The external iliac is the cervix, superior bladder, and body of the uterus. Next is the superficial inguinal. This drains the anal canal below the pectate line, uh, pectinate line, and the skin below the umbilicus, except the popliteal area, and the scrotum and the vulva. So this is the superficial inguinal. So the external iliac, the internal iliac, and the superficial inguinal Their associated pathology is sexually transmitted infections, medial foot slash leg cellulitis, um, and has in parentheses superficial inguinal.
Okay, next, the last one in this list, popliteal. So this is draining the dorsolateral foot and the posterior calf. And the associated pathology is lateral foot or leg cellulitis. So there we have it. Go ahead and take a look at that image and try to remember all of these if you can because they do come up in questions.